Hi Sam! Today I'm not uh, in Oslo, I'm um, about 60 kilometers east of Oslo. I'm out in the, the countryside, surrounded by farms and uh, fields here now. I'm planning to uh, go into the forest to do some uh, berry picking and uh, go search for some um, animals or animal tracks. There's a lot of edible stuff in the forest and a lot of mushrooms, although not all mushrooms are edible uh, like this one. This is um, a variety of a fruesop. It's said that uh, the Vikings, before they went into battle, they would take a few bites of, uh, of this mushroom and uh, they would go berserk. I don't know if that is true, uh, I'm not gonna try, but uh, it's always safe to stay away from mushrooms that you don't trust. Anyways, there are a lot of edible mushrooms here as well. Um, for example, chanterelle. So let's see if we can find some uh, chanterelle. What's important when you pick mushrooms is that you always bring a little knife with you because you don't want to you don't want to pull the whole mushroom up with the, its stem because then it won't come back again. So it's very important to uh, cut off the stem. There you have it. Now the stem is still there and it will continue to spread um, the mushroom out. There's a lot of animals in the forest here. You have uh, moose and a lot of forest birds here, deer, a fox, there's a wolf uh, even. Very seldom that you see any animals though because they hear you or they see you much before you uh, hear or see them. Um, however, there are some animals, especially the moose, they leave a lot of marks on, on the landscape. And um, something in Norwegian is called Ari Trok. That's where the moose tends to, to walk because it follows regular paths in um, the forest. And I have one right in front of me here. You can see how the moose has been going up here. And you can also see how it's been scratching his antlers here on the, the tree. I've walked for uh, quite a while here now and I've come to an area here, a secret area, which is a berry heaven. There is an amazing amount of berries, especially this year. It's a very good uh, year for berries. This berry is called Kekling, black crowberry in English. Birds love to eat this berry, but for humans the skin can feel a bit hard. So they're better used for making wine, jelly or juice. I remember when I was a kid, we used to call these for fake blueberries because they look like blueberries, but they're not blue on, uh, on the inside and they're not as um, tasty. And uh, also the bush that they grow on is, is taller than a normal uh, blueberry bush, so it's easy to um, see the difference. In Norwegian they're called brokkbær, and I believe in English they're called like bog um, bilberry or, or bog uh, blueberry. This berry here you might recognize. This is the, what we call in Norwegian tittebær, or in Swedish they call it uh, lingon. English you call them uh, lingen berries, you know, and they're famous because they go with uh, the Swedish uh, meatballs. They're not so good to, to eat just directly like this. Have a bit of a um, sour flavor, but um, you can make a really good jam um, from them. What I'm really looking for today though is uh, these guys here. And these are the real blueberries. They look like this. They're blue on the inside. They're very sweet. They have a lot of um, vitamins and uh, antioxidants in them. And uh, the plant looks pretty much like uh, this one. To be able to pick as fast as possible, I use a bad plukker, a berry picker. A really smart tool which enables me to pick 10 to 20 liters of berries in just a few hours time. An 
up here now at an area which is called uh, Norwegian for a myr. Myr is like a, like a wetland or a, or a bog land. And there's one plant which is very characteristic, and that's this one. It's called uh, myr ull, so like wetland uh, wool. It's an arctic and a subarctic species, so you find it all over Norway. Okay, I just saw a moose running about 100 meters away, so I'm gonna sneak up on it, see if I can get some uh, footage. So I was sitting right over on that little island or far over there when I heard the moose, and uh, here's the evidence, because here's some fresh moose droppings. So that moose probably probably shot himself uh, <laughs> when he saw me and he, he took off in that uh, direction, just behind uh, the camera. I stuck around for a while to see if he would come back, but he was nowhere to be seen. So I headed back to do some more berry picking. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video from a Norwegian uh, forest. I got some work to do, so I better get uh, to it. Um, but I'm curious, what is your favorite um, forest um, berry? Please uh, just leave a comment uh, below. If you liked uh, the video, hit uh, the like button. And um, I'll see you soon again. Until then, take care and um, all the bra.